Alright guys, today we're going to be talking about factoring using the sum and difference of two cubes. Now this is going to be a two-part series, so I'm only going to be talking about the sum of two cubes today. All right? I'll make another video talking about the difference, and we're going to do it like that so we can keep it organized. Okay? So why don't we go ahead and look at the first problem that we're going to talk about, and we're going to use 1 plus... 27a cubed. All right. Now, when trying to factor using the sum of two cubes, the first step you should do, can we pull out a common term here? And the answer here is no, right? You can't pull out a um, common term here. Also, let's identify both our a and our b terms. So this whole thing right here, Okay, this 1 is acting like my A term, all right? And this 27A is acting like my B term, okay? Well, we've already come to the conclusion that we can't pull out a common term. So we need to try to rewrite this so that they both have an exponent of 3 here. Okay, remember, this whole thing is my A and this whole thing is my B. Let me write that underneath. So this is my A. This is my b, okay? So we need them to both have an exponent of 3 here. Well, if I look at 1, okay, I can rewrite 1 as 1 cubed, right? Mathematically, I can do this because 1 cubed is going to be just 1. And then if I look at my b term, right, well, what can I do here? So if I do plus, and then what if I do 3 a cubed, right? Well, this is just going to be a cubed, and 3 to the third power, well, that's 27, right? So we haven't changed anything. Again, we've just manipulated this to our benefit so that we can go ahead and factor this using the sum of two cubes. Now, if I look at it, I am in the correct form now. Here is my a term, and here is, so there's my a, and here is my b, okay? So I'm in the correct form now. What I can do is go ahead and just follow the formula and expand this out. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to erase this top part here. So I have room to do this. I'm just going to erase this. And let's go ahead and expand this out. So again, this is acting like my A. So we have 1 and then my B, which is plus 3A. Okay. Well, a squared, that's just going to be 1, minus ab, so 1 times 3a, so that's minus 3a, and then we just have b squared, so in this case, this is going to be plus 9a squared. Okay, and you're done. We just factored this using the sum of two cubes. All right, so that is going to be your final answer. All right, let's go into another problem. So let's try one that's a little more challenging. Okay, so that is your final answer. Let's try this one, 192. And cubed. 81. Okay, same thing. Let's just identify our A and B terms. So this whole thing right here is acting like my A, and this whole thing right here is acting like my B. Alright, so the first step, oops, my A, and this is my B. So the first step here. Can we pull out a common term? Do they have anything in common that we can pull out? Well, looking at this, it looks like we can pull out a 3. So if I were to rewrite this, I could write 3. Okay. And now this becomes, we get 64 m cubed. Okay. And then we get plus, and this is going to be 27. Okay. Now, we're 
looking at this part inside of the parentheses, okay? So what we need to do here is we need these both to get the same exponent. So how can we go about doing that? Well, again, if I just rewrite this, we'll write three. And then for this whole part right here, I'm going to write four m cubed, right? Well, again, mathematically, this is still the same, right? This will be m cubed, and then four to the third power, well, that's 64. All right, so let's keep going. Then we have plus, well, this is gonna be three cubed, all right? So looking at this, we have the same exponent. That's what we're going for. And again, here is my a, and here is my b, okay? So looking at the sum of two cubes, we are in the correct form now. All right, so this three is just gonna come along for the ride, all right? So let's go ahead, and I'm going to erase this top part so I can finish this problem off. All right, so let's write out what we will get here. All right, so if you look at our formula, our a value, well, our a value is going to be just 4m, all right, 4m. Okay, our b value is going to be 3, so plus 3. All right, and then we have 4 for our a squared, so we're going to have 4m squared, which is going to be 16m squared. Okay, and then minus, so in this case, it's going to be a times b, so it's 4m times 3, which is going to be 12m, okay? And then our b value here is going to be just 3 squared, so plus 9, okay? And then like I said, the 3 just comes along for the ride, we just write it on the outside, all right? So that is completely factored. All right, so that is how you go about using the sum of two cubes, all right, in order to factor.